Hey, you're watching TechCrunch TV. I'm Colleen Taylor, South by Southwest 2013. Standing with me is Dave Morin, the CEO of Path. Thanks for joining us. Hey, Colleen, how are you? It's good to be here. Same, same place as last year. It is. We talked to Dave last year, but a lot has happened since then Indeed. with Path, and especially this past week. I want to catch up. You guys had some big hires and launched version 3.0. Yes. Um, just to get started, explain to me what the big things are here with 3.0. You got messaging, you got stickers, you got a shop. Yep. So we uh, we have a few different things that we did with 3.0. Number one, uh, the biggest new feature is, of course, messaging. Um, it's one of the uh, most requested features uh, since day one. Users have asked us, can I have DMs? Can I have messaging? Um, and we thought it was you know, a really important feature to add since people are you know, turning to Path to manage their, their personal life and their family and their close friends. You know, being able to have messaging there was seemed like something that was pretty important to do. Um, the second big thing is a part of messaging. Um, we have launched stickers, um, which is a, you know, they're effectively very large emojis. Um, you know, they've been very popular in Asia. Um, you know, uh, emojis were popularized in Japan, and um, you know, doing these bigger versions were something that um, we thought was a really interesting thing to do. Um, and really, you know, the goal of stickers is is twofold. One, um, it's an expression thing. You know, allowing people to. Uh, leverage this beautiful artwork by you know some of our favorite artists um, to express themselves in a really uh, authentic and interesting way uh, is something that we're really excited about so the art half of it but the other side is utility you know one of our big goals with stickers was to really synthesize down things that would otherwise take 20 messages to communicate into a single click. And so we actually did hundreds of iterations, um, worked with tons of different artists um, to try to figure out exactly what works and you know how can we get these really hard, really complex things to communicate into a single, single click and something that people use. And so um, it was actually a really interesting product development process from that perspective. Um, and I guess the third thing, uh, uh, that's pretty important is we've just done a bunch of uh, really interesting updates to the core of Path. Um, you know, we've really cleaned up a lot of the animations and the performance. It's faster than it's ever been. Um, and uh, we've also added, there's a few little, you know, Easter egg features in there that we really love. Uh, one of them uh, that we really like is this feature we call, uh, it has two names. You can either call it 10.4 or Height, which is uh, uh, a Japanese word that they use in Japan to confirm that you've received a message. So um, when you're messaging with someone, you can actually just click with one click a little check mark to tell them that you got the message, um, which we actually is something that we all do in person. You know, you're nodding right now to you know, yep, I hear you, right? And uh, so we wanted to add that. Um, and we've got a lot of really fun utilities, like you can share your location with one tap, um, and it drops your face on a map into the message. Um, we call that feature ETA. It helps you understand how far away your friend is from you right now. Um, and you can do all, this, all the other stuff that you'd expect from a messaging app. Um, uh, photos and videos, we even have push to talk uh, audio, which is pretty exciting. Um, and, uh, and I guess overarchingly, you know, what we've been trying to do with this is uh, make it incredibly fast. And so um, what we hope people really enjoy is how fast it is. Um, and uh, right now we're dealing with a bunch of scale. Uh, so we're hoping within an hour by the time I go on stage for the keynote, uh, everyone in Austin should be able to use it just fine. So. And I want to ask about this messaging thing because it sounds great, but it also is getting a little bit into the territory of something that Facebook does is messaging. And I wonder what the balance there is. Is there any worry on your behalf? We, we've seen Facebook shut down apps lately that, that overlap with it in terms of the Find Your Friends feature. Is that something that you guys have thought about or talked about? Um, we actually have a really good partnership with Facebook. Um, you know, we use Facebook for uh, friend finding and for um, you know a variety of different syndication features. So we're heavily integrated with the Open Graph, and our users actually syndicate quite a bit of content to Facebook. Um, and so it's it's not something that we're overly worried about. Um, you know, we we see. We see Path as, you know, uh, on some vectors, uh, you know, we're competitive with Facebook, on others we're not. Um, and, uh, you know, we've been able to strike a reasonable balance there. And, uh, you know, we really look at Path as a truly personal space um, that's it, much different than a social space. You know, we, we, the analogy that I've always used is that we're building homes inside of Facebook City and, you know, one can't work without the other. So, um, 
uh, we'll see how it goes. And you've mentioned already with this emoji kind of influence and the stickers and the high, um, does this say something about how, how much of an impact or how many of your users are in Asia? You know, can you talk about your international sure. footprint? I know you've talked about your total number of users, maybe you can get in that as well. Yeah, I, I think it, it does say something about that. Um, uh, you know, we have uh, about half of our users are international. Um, our top countries are Japan, China, uh, Korea, Indonesia, um, internationally. And, you know, like I said, about half of our users are there. Um, the other half are in the United States. And actually, the last uh, three months or so, we've seen immense growth um, uh, uh, in the United States. We've had a lot of virality going in cities like Knoxville, Tennessee, and uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico, um, you know, just city by city in the United States, uh, you know, people are really starting to adopt PATH. And in different demographics, too. So we've typically been 25 and over. Um, uh, we've had a lot of uh, high school and uh, college users joining in the United States, which has been which has been pretty cool. So, you know, I think it's a combination of both Asian and East Asian influence, and you know what we kind of think that this is something that uh, that America should have too. And I want to talk also about the new hire, the big the the CFO. Can you explain you know what she's coming on to do? How important? for you right now is revenue going forward. I know when we've talked in the past, revenue has not been your main focus, but it seems like with the CFO hire that it's it's ramping up. Yep, yeah, Kim's a really special person. Um, she uh, she came to me by way of Sheryl Sandberg, actually. Um, and she's, uh, you know, she was the CFO at Lytro. Um, she spent a lot of years doing operations at Google. Um, so she's really, you know, playing both the finance and operations role for us. Um, she's focusing on uh, HR, legal, privacy, policy, um, and uh, and finance. And so, you know, it, it's it's as much a signal about uh, us ramping up our operational and execution capabilities as it is um, around the finance aspects of it. Um, with with stickers and the shop, uh, you know, we are actually. Uh, really you know this is a pretty serious monetization um, uh, product for us um, and it's already performing incredibly well just in 24 hours um, it's it's blown away our expectations um, and so you know having our, our our ducks in a row in terms of uh, our finance operations is pretty important to us um, and I've, I've talked about this before this year but I think uh, rolling out the virtual goods marketplace, which we call the shop, was an important first step for us. We'll also be rolling out our subscription service first half of this year. So um, it's important for us to kind of have all that um, uh, in order. Cool. Well, last question here, because PATH is obviously your focus, but I always like to ask you what other apps you're looking at, because you kind of seem to have your, your finger on the pulse in a lot of ways. Is there anything you've seen here at South by Southwest or just recently in general that you're excited about that maybe other people don't know about yet? Uh, that other people don't know about yet. Um, I'm pretty excited about Mailbox. Uh, I, I've been a, I was a beta user of Mailbox. I think Gentry Underwood, the founder, is just, you know, absolutely brilliant. Um, they've got a lot of people over there from IDEO, and I think that they've, you know, they've they've hit on a very nuanced but simple idea: the idea of snoozing your mail. Right? That's just like an amazing. We all snooze our alarms every morning. Why can't I snooze an email? Right? That seems like a really interesting idea. And so I, I really have been loving Mailbox. Um, so if you were to ask me one, that's probably the one that's top of my mind. Because I, I just think that there's not enough innovation in email given the amount that we all deal with every day. And so um, I think that. You know, they're doing some interesting things. Um, I've got a few other uh, secret apps that I can't talk about, but there's, there's a couple that I'm, I'm particularly excited about. Well, maybe we'll hear those soon. Yeah, I, I don't know when they're launching, so I wouldn't want to ruin that for them. Okay, cool. So there's good stuff happening. Dave Morin, thank you so much sure. for talking to us. Path, Path 3. Have fun. Thanks.